In today's episode of Before You Stay, we are checking out Universal Orlando's newest resort hotel, Endless Summer Dockside Inn and Suites. I'm in line to check in and I just got a text message from what looks like I guess Universal that's very interesting asking for the names of anyone else accompanying me all right so we just got done checking in it was a very quick very smooth very easy process walked right on inside the young lady that was helping me out Victoria very very sweet very very helpful she answered any question that I had so now we are leaving the check-in parking area and we're gonna head on over to the parking garage which is down this way and we are staying in uh, what is it building one level seven so I'm very excited to check that out and she says that the parking garage is very close to where my room room is so she said it's convenient to unload my car over there and walk on over to the room so I'll let you know how that goes So the parking garage was extremely easy to find. It's located right around the back side of the building. I'll put an image up over here with an overhead so that you guys know exactly where to go in case they tell you to park in the parking garage. Very easy to locate. I found easy parking right on the first floor. This is building one behind me and the door to get inside is right over here, just outside the garage. So this right here is building one. Okay, tower one, my apologies. And a room key is required to get inside. All right, well, I mean, I think that means it's unlocked. Woohoo! Dockside and suites. Level seven. All right, so room 1712 is where I believe I am on my little room key holder. She did write the number 12 for the room, so I'm assuming that this is it. It's going to be very awkward if it's not. Oh, well, there it is. Let's grab this, head on inside, and voila. It does look like you do need to insert your room key for power, so we're going to go ahead and turn that on and ha 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 ha. All right, now that we are inside our hotel room, we can go ahead and take off our face mask. Let's go ahead and give you a brief tour. So starting from the door, as soon as you walk in, we have our, uh, I guess, what is this called? Um, what is it, occupied or, or please do not disturb sign. We're gonna go ahead and leave that over there. This is a way to keep the door from opening up, which is really nice. Does this fold out into anything or nope? This is just a mirror, hello. Uh, with some fancy hooks on there. By the way, Theme Park Express holiday shirts can be found online now at our Spreadshirt shop, so link to that down in the description below if you want to get your holiday merch going. Let's come on over here into the bathroom area. Real nice big mirror. Looks like we have hair dryer over here, some tissues, some soap, some towels, some more towels down here, and that's just more sink stuff, so just some additional storage space. Take a peek into the bathroom over here and turn that on. Really nice looking toilet, pretty decent size. It's not the biggest toilet in the world, and also not the smallest. I've definitely seen smaller in hotels, so that's really good to see. Towel mat over here, nice big shower, plenty of space, especially for me being a bigger guy. This is a lot of space and I feel like, you know, this is, this is perfect. This is perfect size for me. A nice sliding door over here. I like the showers that have a little curvature. I don't like the ones that are just perfectly rectangle. They feel kind of awkward. And we have a surf and sand shampoo, conditioner and a bath bar over there. Let's go ahead and open this back up. Come on out over here. 
Let's explore the rest of the room. Ooh, fancy thermostat. We're gonna go ahead and lower that down. Uh, that's as far as it goes, 65. In other hotels in Coda, if like the, the Radisson that we stayed in, or the residence, I don't know which, which one exactly. The temperature goes down to 45 degrees and Coda sends that thing plummeting. But anyways, this is the main area. Where are the lights now? There, I don't see anything on the walls over here. By the way, it looks like this is an adjoining room, so there's another room over there. And if I was staying with someone else, we could open up that door and we can be like, what's up? Um, so it looks like the lights are over here, which is interesting. The beds, they feel interesting. Um, I don't really know how to describe the texture of the linens. Come on over here, nice little carpet rug thing in the middle. Our TV remote is all wrapped up, and look at that, we even got a little Complimentary hand sanitizer, Dockside Inn and Suites. Look at that. Doesn't look like they turned the clocks back because I seriously doubt it is 3.30 right now. Hold up. It is not 3.30. There's no way. It is 2.30. Okay. So, I got two beds over here. Let's see if we can turn this on. So, perfect. This chair looks absolutely comfortable. And... The cushions on it feel really nice as well. I have additional garbage bags for our garbage over here. Nice phone. We have an outlet over here with a USB, so that's always good to see. It looks like we have additional lighting over here. Can we? Ah, there you go. And catch the wave. Nice ice bucket over here. Not the biggest one I've seen, also not the smallest, so that's good, a couple of cups. Some storage space. We got ourselves a little mini fridge over here as well. Nah, a little cold. I'm sure we can make that colder. We'll fix that a little bit later. We have what looks like a bench or stool. Whatever you want to call it, it doesn't open up, so this does not provide any additional storage space, so we're just going to slide that under there. Now, does this thing open up? I don't think it does. I don't think it does, but um, I think it's just there for aesthetics. But um, what's interesting to me is that I don't see a holy Beeblay. Most hotels come with a holy Beeblay, and I don't see one, so that's odd. But anyways, we got a pool view. Go ahead, open this bad boy up, and wow. Holy cow. Yep, this is a really nice view. <laughs> oh, look at that. They even got a little splash pad thing over there, too. Nice, and looks like they have a poolside restaurant and bar. Uh, it's called the Oasis Beach Bar, from what I can see. Not too many people in the pool. We are in our Florida winter right now, so it's not, it's not really chilly outside at all right now, but... The temperatures do fluctuate, so just be prepared for that. But yeah, that is a really nice view. This is the rest of Tower 1. Over here, we have the Surfside Inn and Suites right over there. And look, oh my gosh, we can see Hogwarts from here. Holy cow, let's zoom in on that. You can see Hogwarts. You can see, is that possibly Dudley do right to Falls? We can definitely see the Velocicoaster right over there and the tip top of Jurassic Park. All right, so I am staying here at this hotel by myself, so I have two separate beds. We're gonna jump on these beds and we're gonna see how comfortable they really are. Bed test. So overall, the beds feel pretty comfortable. They're not super stiff, they're not super soft. I mean, I think I'm gonna enjoy myself tonight. But, you know, we just gotta, we just gotta wait and see. The pillows also feel really, really good. They feel really, really soft as well, which I definitely appreciate. These are good pillow fighting pillows. So one thing that I don't think I mentioned earlier is that this hotel is Universal Studios' newest hotel. This opened up on December 15th, so we're almost a week after this hotel opened. And from what I heard, this room has not been slept in yet. So I'm probably the first guest in this room, which is really, really exciting. 
I don't think I quite got a chance to show off the artwork that's above the bed as well. It's really nice. Very beachy. Which, you know, I don't think I expected anything else. Also, I will say I am a fan of this texting system that they have. They ask you if you want to opt in for it when you check in online. And it looks like they're going to use it to send me information that I need. You know, since we are in the era of COVID, you know, everything's gone digital now. And I kind of like it. So we'll get back to you when all this stuff comes in. One thing that I also think I forgot to mention is that this hotel was supposed to open up back in March, I believe. March or May. But um, because of COVID and everything, they had to delay the opening of the hotel. So these rooms have been done for quite a while. And one test that I like to do at these hotels to test cleanliness is to see how well the housekeepers really get in there with their dustings. So we're gonna come up over here and examples like this, we have this on the wall. We're gonna come up over here and see how dusty it is and <sighs> yikes. That is dusty. That is very dusty indeed. Honestly, the best way that you can test a hotel's cleanliness is little surfaces like this. And you can see whether they get there or not in between each service. And it looks like they haven't touched it. One thing that I also forgot to show off in the initial room tour was the closet space. We got some hangers. We have a nice big safe over here. Well, not really big. It's about standard for what you would find in a hotel room. I've seen smaller and I've also seen bigger. We have a luggage rack over here, ironing board, iron, and some additional storage space up here. And this space is concealed by curtains. And it's right by the front door. So I was going to use the restroom and I flipped this thing up and I just wanted to show you guys this. I flipped this thing up and this uh, seat isn't exactly the most stable. When I first lifted it up, it kept falling on me. I would put it up and it would kept falling down. I guess now that it's on camera, it doesn't want to do that now. But just so you know that it is going to be falling down on you. It's not exactly the most sturdy thing in the world for you men out there who might want to, you know, use the restroom while standing up. It may come down on you a little bit. Also, I know some of you guys are very particular about this when you go to a hotel room because I know that I am. How loud is the toilet when you flush it? Because there are some toilets where you flush it and the world is coming to an end. But this one's actually quite nice. Very quick, not that loud. All right, let's go ahead and do a little test here. Let's see how dark this room can get during the day with these things closed. Because I know that some of you guys like to take your naps in the middle of the day. So let's close everything up. Let's turn off all the lights and we'll see exactly what kind of light pollution we get in the room in the middle of the day. Let's turn off that. Turn off this. Let's come out over here and um, um, how 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 does where is the where's the switch for this? There's no there's no switch for this. Um, clap on, clap off. There's no um, okay okay okay. Um, we're we're fine. We're good. I'm just not finding this light switch for that, but anyways, we're just gonna go ahead and up. Oh, here we go, ba ba da boopy, and uh, yeah, it comes off a lot worse in the camera than it really is, but um, I don't know. There's still quite a bit of light that comes through. Let's see if there's any way that we can adjust this. Um, let's try the other way. No, I don't think there's another way. This thing is specifically made so that this end goes over that end. And I don't think there's really anything else that you can do. I mean, you can if you hold it, you know, it doesn't do anything. So maybe move your chair over here up against it. I don't know. But just like on its own, it still creates a bit of light. And, you know, if you're in this bed, you're really going to be hit with it. This bed, not so much. Okay, have I been lied to? Because, uh... I removed the key and uh, the Lord still said, let there be light. So, um, ah, there it is. Now I'm not quite sure how exactly it works on all floors, but at least for my floor on tower one, level seven, the ice machine is right here at the very end of the hallway by the elevators. The next day. <sighs> Mm. 
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is the morning after. I just woke up here in my hotel room at Dockside Inn and & Suites, and I have some things to say. Um, so, overall, it was, it was not a good night. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it's just me, but I know that a lot of you guys out there are, are very curious as to how I slept in the room. And I know that's very important to some of you guys, but you know, how I slept might not be the same way some of you guys sleep. You know, I did not have a good night's sleep at all. Um, as you can see, I utilized both beds. Um, I started off on this one near the window. When I first got back from the hotel room, I went to SeaWorld yesterday, and I got back, I showered, and I, 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 I knocked out, I fell asleep, I was so tired. And I slept for about an hour, and then it was about 11 or so o'clock, and the both, both Universal Parks closed at 10. So right around 11 o'clock is when people started coming back to the hotel. A couple things I want to say, these walls are really, really thin. <laughs> these walls are really thin, and especially the door over there to the adjoining room, I could hear everything that was going on in there. I could hear the kids, I could hear, I could hear the parents uh, talking, I could hear everything. So just bear that in mind. Um, I could hear, easily hear kids stomping and running through the hallways in the middle of the night. So these walls are pretty thin. You're going to be hearing pretty much everything that's going on with your neighbors. Granted, it's but you can you, you can hear that stuff is going on, so just bear that in mind. Um, the beds, I would, I, I, I think the reason why I didn't sleep so well was number one, the beds are really, really soft. You know, I'm, I mean, this could just be me used to my mattress at home, which isn't an expensive mattress, but I'm just what I'm used to. I'm sure other people can relate. And the pillows were extremely soft. They're extremely soft. So my head just kind of sank in there, didn't provide much support, and I was tossing and turning throughout the night. Uh, after that 11 o'clock hour, I slept for a little bit and I woke up at like 3 a.m and I couldn't fall back asleep for like another hour. I turned on the TV and I started watching some of that stuff until I was extra tired and had no choice but to just pass out and I woke up now at about nine o'clock in the morning. I was, I was completely intending on utilizing the, um, the early entry into the parks today that began at 7 a.m., but I didn't get much sleep at all last night, so I was like, nah, it's, it's okay. It's okay, we'll do that another time. So, um, that's just, that's just my experience with the hotel room, um, sleeping overnight, so take that information as you will. Um, but I am ready to get up and get dressed. I mean, I'm already kind of dressed and go downstairs, grab some breakfast, show you guys what that whole experience is like. It is going on 9.30 right now, so hopefully they're still doing breakfast. And, um, well, we carry on with our day. We check out a little bit later. I got a late checkout at 12 today, so I'm excited to spend a few more hours here. So welcome to the Pier 8 Marketplace. This is the main restaurant type area of the Dockside Inn & Suites. This is where you're gonna come for all your food needs and everything else. And this is where you're gonna get breakfast and all your snacks. They, you, can, you can see they got grab and go options back here. They have, uh, they have like other chips and smaller items over there that I think is open 24 hours. I'm not entirely sure. I'll get some confirmation on that. We got a lot of different things to see around here, a lot of different food items and options. If you've ever stayed at a Disney hotel, it's very similar. You got your registers up front over here. You grab what you need, you come up, you pay for it, and then you go about your merry way. And in case you guys were wondering, Endless Summer does have a refillable mug that you guys can purchase. Dockside Inn and & Suites, it's got an RFID chip that they can activate and you can get all your refills and these also can be used inside the park as well if i believe so over here at our first station we have oatmeal grits different bagels cookies scones cinnamon rolls and they even offer krispy kreme donuts so i assume that this is where you're going to get your oatmeal and grits we have different bagel options that are pre-packaged we have different muffins scones or i think these are the scones over here i'm not entirely sure but 
look at all these. Everything looks really, really delicious. It's not buffet style. They they serve you 100%. You just tell them what you want and they will grab it for you, no problem at all. We have pre-packaged fruit cups over here. We have, looks like yogurt parfaits, some grapefruits, some different fresh squeezed juices as well. Looks like we have some avocado toast in here that they can toast up for you. Mozzarella cheese on top, very interesting. Was not expecting to see that. Now these last two stations it looks like are gonna be the main breakfast stations over here. Kids pancakes, kids chocolate chip pancakes, flapjacks, blueberry chocolate chip are plain. You got French toast muffin, uh, pure eight bacon, an egg muffin, a veggie and egg muffin. So we have quite a few different options over here and they have some, I don't know if these are examples or the ones that you can actually grab and go. I think these are ones that you can actually grab and go. These are different options over here. We've got the triangle hash browns, different kinds of pancakes. Over here they got some more options. It looks like a breakfast pizza. They have more hash browns, biscuits over here. And it looks like they have some other items such as eggs, bacon, sausages, things like that in those bowls. And they, it looks like they have hash browns in there as well, the more cubed potato kind. It looks like this is gonna be your flapjack and waffle station. They have chocolate chips, butter, syrup, some other kind of biscuits over here. I think they either have um, flapjacks or waffles in these. They got waffles over here. Really big, they look really delicious. Oh boy, I'm excited to try some. In case any of you guys are curious about the beverage selection in these coolers over here on the side, take a quick look at those. We even have different alcohols in this one over here. We've got different milks and juices. They do have different cereal options in case nothing else here is up to your standards or you just don't want any of that stuff. They got, even got Pop-Tarts over here as well. If you want dessert for breakfast in the morning, you can easily do that. They also have salads as well. Big bags of chips and a whole bunch of other miscellaneous snack items as well. Take a quick gaze upon these different items. Not bad at all. Almost forgot to show you guys the menu and prices for the other station over here with the breakfast pizza and everything, in case you guys are curious. And then we have kids Belgian waffles, Belgian waffle with powdered sugar, chicken and waffles, biscuits and gravy. Alrighty, just got back to the room and breakfast is served. I asked them what their most popular items were and they said hands down the most popular item is the fried chicken and waffles. That's what almost everyone gets. So I'm gonna be trying that for you guys. And they said that the most popular items that they get on the side is eggs, hash browns, and bacon. So I went with the sampling of the most popular items here. So that way you guys will know what I think of it prior to you guys getting here. By no means am I gonna finish all this. I know this is extremely unhealthy. I'm gonna be spending all day in the parks over there. You can see uh, Hogwarts Castle over there and the Velocicoaster right there. Uh, I'm gonna be spending all day in the parks, so I don't quite feel really, really, really bad, but I'm definitely not gonna be finishing all this because this is a lot. Okay, so initial review. I took a few bites out of it. The chicken is dark meat. It tastes good, but the chicken is dry. The chicken is pretty dry. You can tell it's been sitting out for a little while. By no means is it fresh, so just be aware of that. I don't know if you can request a fresh one. The waffles, you can also tell they were sitting out for a while. I don't know if it was because I came a little bit later in the breakfast service. I know if you go earlier, they're really cranking them out because there's so many people down there. When I went, there wasn't too many people down there. So if, if you want fresher items, I recommend getting there a little bit earlier than about 9.30. The eggs are okay. Standard theme park eggs. The bacon... Uh, it's also okay, and the hash browns are pretty decent, actually. I think the hash browns are my favorite thing. But um, we're going we're, we're gonna to keep on eating, but those are just my initial thoughts on the breakfast over here. And I just feel like if I had gone a little bit earlier, these items might have been a little bit more fresh. All right, yeah, I'm calling it quits. I had a little bit of everything. I finished not, not most of this, but I got a lot of the chicken done, but not quite the waffle. It just... I feel like I should have gone earlier and things would have been a bit fresher and more tasty because you can clearly tell that this was not made fresh at all and it had been sitting out there for a while. So just bear that in mind. I would recommend going a little bit earlier. Next time I'm here, I will try and go earlier and I'll let you guys know. I'll give you a little bit of an update. But as of right now, 
not my favorite. All right, so we did come back into the lobby and I was about to wait in line to check out, but there is a sign here that says checking out and it gave us a text message number and this is the same number that I have been communicating with since I checked in yesterday. So I can just text them and say that I'm checking out, I guess. We're gonna try that. And just a few minutes later, they sent me a text saying, peace out, thanks for staying. That was easy, I like this. Just a few things that I forgot to go over on my initial walkthrough of the resort is the Universal Studios store. They have a massive store over here with their own endless summer merchandise and some other select Universal Studios merchandise that you can also find in the parks. And the last thing we have left to check out is the pool. And as you guys can see, the pool is not the most popular area of the hotel today. We have a few guests that are in there right now. It is, by Florida definition, a little bit chilly outside today. We're like in the high 60s, low 70s with a bit of a breeze, so it feels rather chilly. But it is actually quite a nice area. We have some sand located around the pool area over here, mostly concrete, with our loungers being spaced out in little groups here and there to accommodate for social distancing. Not quite sure what the temperature of the pool is, but um, I'm sure it's heated. We were walking through last night and you can see the steam coming off of it. So I have no doubt in my mind that it's actually a heated pool. And then we have an Oasis beach bar over there, which we are gonna go check out right now. Also, in case you guys are curious, you don't need to bring towels from your room. They do have towels here for you to grab on your own and an opposite bin over there for retirements. These are by far the tiniest little tables I have ever seen at a bar. And you know, these are stools, so you can move them around, I think, and do whatever. Yeah, oh, they're very heavy. They're like straight up concrete. You can move them around and I guess sit down at those tables. We also have a bunch of other little tables over here that you can sit at some proper tables. Here's a quick look at the menu for you guys. It looks like they serve strictly drinks over here. No food at this location, but you can take a quick look at the menu. Pause the video if you need to. Zoom in to read the descriptions. But yeah, some of this stuff actually looks really, really good. Can't wait to try some of this stuff the next time I'm here with Coda. It's not the largest bar in the world, but it definitely serves its purpose. And I'm sure during the summer months, it is a very popular place to be. And with that, that is going to conclude our first ever visit to Endless Summer Dockside Inn and Suites. Overall, I would rate this place about a seven out of 10 as far as hotels that I've stayed at before. I highly recommend coming here definitely not the greatest hotel in the world this hotel is relatively cheap this is universal orlando's newest value resort i got my pool view room which is a one bedroom with two queen size beds for 94 dollars a night and i could have gotten a standard view room for 79 dollars a night which is absolutely not bad at all a very very affordable hotel for most families the only reason why i docked off a couple points was because of the whole sleeping situation and the thinness of the walls. So a little bit of a inconvenience there and something that you guys should think about if you guys are planning on coming here and staying at this resort hotel. I really enjoyed my stay. I definitely cannot wait to come back. It is a very affordable option and for what you're getting, it's, it's not a bad price at all. It is absolutely not a bad price at all. I'm about to head on over to Universal Studios right now, which is actually at capacity. So uh, that's another benefit of staying at a Universal Studios hotel is that even though the, the parks are at capacity, they still give preference to the hotel guests. You are still able to go inside the parks even though they are at capacity. So I'm going to be heading on over there right now. Definitely let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of this hotel. If you guys have ever stayed here before, if you guys are watching this in the future, let me know your experience. Were you guys able to sleep very well in those beds? And what was your experience with hearing people walking down the halls and your adjacent neighbors in the rooms nearest you? Let me know your experience down in the comment section below for those folks who are looking to possibly stay here in the future. Let me know if you enjoyed today's video. This is our first ever episode of Before You Stay. I really hope you enjoyed. Leave a like on this video. Let me know that you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future. There's plenty of hotels in and around the Orlando area that I definitely wanna check out and I definitely want to continue this series. A like on this video and a subscription will definitely let me know that you guys are looking to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you guys so much again for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. We have an Instagram, Twitter, and now a Discord links to those down in the description below become a part of the greatest theme park community in the world thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope you are all having a wonderful day morning afternoon and evening and i will see you guys 
in the next video.